Alrighty, we're here. And it's the final Elite Four battle. Oh, you timed your arrival well. I just finished reading a book, you see. Let me introduce myself. I am Lucian. I'm a user of psychic types. I must say, you've already proven yourself to be outstanding by coming this far. I say I'm the toughest of the Elite Four. I'm afraid you have to go all out against you to live up to that reputation. And see, Lucy in here, the hair and the name kind of give off female vibes, but the attire gives off more of a male vibe here. I'm not really sure what Nintendo was going for here, but... By the way, we'll actually start out with a Mr. Mime versus Mr. Mime battle, actually, which is just probably just going to be a spamming psychic, or I guess actually Dazzling Gleam or something like that, until one of us goes down. And uh, we actually move first. Kind of funny, actually. And uh, he's going to start off with a light screen, which pretty much stops us dead in our tracks, actually. In fact, I will probably follow suit. Since we are faster, yeah, that seems like a good choice to me. And he's going to turn around and use Dazzling Gleam as well. So we're already, I guess, kind of ahead. Um, Dazzling Gleam for him is going to be slightly more effective in the fact it's just going to do a little bit more damage just because uh, her, her, his, Lucian, that's what we'll do. Lucian's um, Mr. Mime is like three levels stronger, which surprisingly allows him to do that much more damage. I'm not exactly sure how that happens, but we may actually be able to heal here after this hit. Um, and if we can get Lucian to waste its uh, things like that, or it's uh, healing items it her Lucian's healing items I'm gonna do this all battle it's gonna be terrible anyway if we can get Lucian to do that um, we actually probably sh uh, if we can get him to waste the um, yeah get him to waste his um, healing items we should be fine All right, so Dazzling Gleam once again. Uh, light screen should be wearing off here in a moment um, as well for both of us. So we'll both have to reuse. Oh my gosh, why did that do so much? Oh, my light screen wore off. And I completely forgot to just throw that back up. That's totally on me. And he did that in the move that I healed. That's That makes more sense now. And somehow we didn't die. And their light screen wore off. Wait a second, that doesn't make sense. Am I miscounting, or did he just do a ton of damage for like no reason? On that one hit, he must have just done a ton of damage for like no reason. All right, I'm gonna assume that was what it was. Um, you will think. All right, so he didn't throw up another light screen, so that's gonna do a little bit more. And he's just gonna spam it, but we're going to KO here. And didn't use. Okay, there we go. I was waiting for the full restore. I was like, I knew it had to come in somewhere. I think we can just continue to spam here until we kind of take out Mr. Mime. And I think we just are going to end up... I don't think she's going to throw up on the... Okay, there's the light screen. I was wondering where it was at. I think she has two healing items, so we need to be a little careful about that. Um... Though, we're actually higher in health now at this point. Okay, not anymore. Oh my gosh, why did that do so much damage? Wow, that is kind of incredible, actually. I don't know how that's doing that much. It's pretty insane. Gonna use Psychic now. Gonna switch it up on us a little bit. Interesting choice there. Um, oh, it's because it ran up Dazzling Gleams, much like... I have just done. I think this Mr. Mime has the exact same moveset that I do, funny enough. I think it has light screen and reflect, and then used all of its dazzling gleam, and we're now having to revert to reflect, or I'm sorry, um, psychic, which granted, for me, isn't doing a whole lot, but for him, is doing an insane amount of damage. Which kind of makes me slightly upset. And we're using like all of our hyper potions here. And in fact, I think that's probably the last hyper potion we end up using here. I think at this point, 
we just do as much damage until we get KO'd. And then we'll probably bring in... Yeah, while Mr. Mime is low, I think we bring in... Or if we... Um, at least I think while he's low. I would hope so, at least. Uh, we just kind of bring in um, Absol. Boost him up to be an absolute tank. And just kind of go for it. Alright, I think we take maybe one more hit here. But I don't think this Mr. Mime here is going to be... Uh, or we're going to take him out, I don't think. I don't think we have the ability to... Unless we get him off, get him out somehow right before we faint. He's just doing a lot more damage than us. Um, I think his light screen wore off. So. Oh, and actually we did KO. Maybe Lucian doesn't have another healing item. I figured he would have used it again. Considering he was so low, but had a chance to take us out. Alright, Lucian sends out Gira Fig, and I just smacked my mic with my, or my core to my mic with my controller. Yikes. Um, Gira uh, Farig. Um, I think we switch here. I think we go ahead and switch to Absol. Um, this Pokemon is weak to both Shadow Ball and Night Slash, I believe. Though I'm probably going to use Shadow Ball for most of this because it's the one move we have more of. Though I don't think we're going to use Absol for the champion battle here. So we should be okay. At least I hope so. Pretty much every Pokemon she's going to send out right now. Oh no, it d is not affected by Shadow Ball. Uh, I think it's because it's a normal type. Alright, so we have to use Night Slash here. Um, now I don't believe she has anything that can take us out. I hope I'm not wrong. We have some revives. If we need them. Though it doesn't seem like we do. It's super effective plus a crit. Absol might be the savior of this run to be honest. Absol may be the like one Pokemon that just comes in clutch and just KOs everything. Alright, Medicham. This is the Pokemon I'm worried about. Because I think we're weak to fighting type moves. And so what I think we do here is I think we actually switch in Lucario and use Drain Punch. I haven't used any X items yet, so we're still fine. I think we use both Dusk and Absol here to try to take out this Metacham. Because it's Fighting Psychic, which is an interesting choice, or an interesting grouping of abilities. Um, but everything else should be pretty good against it. Dragon Pulse is fine. Um, I want to use Meteor Mash, just in case he doesn't have anything that's super effective and our attack gets raised. That might actually be pretty helpful. High jump kick. I was afraid of that. Okay, that's like an instant KO. That's pretty ridiculous, actually. Um, in fact, through this, we may end up just... Oh, man, if only I had Dazzling Gleam still. Um, all right, what we do here is we send in Dusk, we use Aerial Ace, maybe get the KO, and if not, we switch back to Absol to finish it off. We should move first. Yes. All right. Hopefully this KOs. Oh, it's so close. Hopefully. Oh, it uses Zen Headbutt. Oh, we're weak to Psychic type moves as well. I completely forgot about that. Um, yeah, Dust was the wrong choice there. Um, I told you guys to remind me of that. Now that I think about it, so it's definitely all your guys' fault, not mine. Um, I think we sit in Luxray here because uh, we don't have any more Dazzling Gleams, which actually kind of hurts me a little bit here. Our opponent's weak, that's totally fine. We're gonna use Intimidate, which is gonna lower his attack, and I don't think he has anything anyway that's super effective on us, and so I think we just crunch him to death here. Oh, never mind, he uses a full restore. Um, hopefully he doesn't have anything on Luxray, or we could be in some kind of trouble here. Oh no, Crunch just does a lot anyway. Or we got a crit, I guess is probably why. Which I will 100% take. I am not going to complain about that. And I think we move first. Maybe another crit. And wow, two hit KO. Okay, I will 100% take that. We didn't even take a lick of damage there. Maybe we keep in Luxray here until we need Absol again. Because I think the Dark type moves might actually just be the way to go here. Because he has one and it's well going to be super effective. 
Use this nasty plot, which I think raises his attack or something like that. Special attack, something like that. Yeah, special attack grows sharply. But we have crunch. One hit KO. Wow. Um. All of a sudden, I turned on my my brain for these last two battles and have strategized my way to victory without even having to use X items. Kind of sweet. And then Bronzog is the final one. Steel Psychic. Um, the Dark type moves are still going to do a lot, even though um, obviously the Electric type moves are going to do basically nothing, or they shouldn't do anything at all. I think he's completely immune. I know um, they are effective against him, though. I think we just continue to use Crunch. We move first anyway. And yeah, it's going to do about half of its health here. Um, and I don't think he's got anything that is really going to do much. It's going to heal a little bit. That's totally fine. That uh, just means we'll have to get another attack. Trick Room. I think that just means, like... I'm not really sure exactly. But I think that just, like... So, like, our stats get flipped or something like that. Earthquake is going to do... Oh, my gosh. A whole lot. For some reason I don't know why I don't remember Lux oh it's right ground type and electric types um actually now that makes sense that I think about it just a little bit more um I think here we just because I th oh that's right all of our things have been swapped so now we move second I think we try to get off a crunch here and then okay yeah so it's not gonna happen Luxray goes down, but we are okay. I'm not too worried about anything. Um, and I think we just switch in Guard Chomp, and we use an Earthquake of our own to handle this guy, because we're not weak to that move. And unless he's got a nice type move, we're good. He's going to use Payback. Okay, does practically nothing. And then... He just had to do it to me. All right, we'll use Surf then and take you out that way. Just a slow and steady pace. Absol isn't even the Pokemon. Uh, the only reason I didn't use Absol is because I was worried about like those kind of moves was possibly going to take us out there. Twisted Dimensions return to normal. I'm afraid she might have another restore. Never mind. We move first. She didn't use it. If she did, and down goes Bronzov. And I think that's it for Lucian actually. And I think that's. I think that does it actually. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's it. And indeed it is. Elite Four Lucian is done. I see. You're getting past the three before me was no fluke. Your power is real. We got, whoa, a ton of money. Uh, probably because we had Mr. Mime in now that I think about it. Congratulations. You've now beaten the Elite Four. However, that does not mean you're done with the Pokemon League. There remains the champion. I should warn you, the champion is far stronger than the Elite Four. Now go on, step through the doorway to your final battle. Alright, now I will say directly through that door isn't actually the final battle. You'll have one more little elevator to go up and whatnot. But I do recommend just go ahead and healing in this room before you forget and get all head rush into the champion's room. And uh, especially, like, if you don't heal, like, in that situation, um, the champion is going to utterly destroy you, and you're going to have to go through basically all of this again, which would not be fun. I would go ahead and tell you that. It just doesn't sound like it would be that much fun. All right, I think we use some more of these uh, and probably some more of our 20 health healing items here. We'll use that, and that'll restore us completely there. And then we just use some regular potions to finish off our healing. And we still have plenty of healing items left. Which is quite incredible, actually. And uh, for this last battle, I think we go ahead and pull out Garchomp for this. Because um, I don't really know who's going to be super effective against the champions. Got another Pokemon that's similar to Quagsire. Um, it's the name of it. I can't exactly remember, um, but it's a water ground type. So we need to find something that can uh, try to take him out pretty easily. And honestly, now I've completely forgotten what I or which Pokemon I used on 
on him earlier. Um, probably Garchomp, I think. I think we used Garchomp there. Because I don't think it was Lucario. It definitely wasn't Infernape. Um, it was definitely not Luxray. And it wasn't Absol. E no, I think it was Absol. I think we just boosted Absol and used the strong attack. And got used the critical hit chance that it got uh, to boost our attacks there. Um, I'm trying to think of any Pokemon in the Pokemon League that has a Ice-type move. And I think the Champion's Milotic does. I think the Champion's Milotic does no Ice Beam. I, I'm not for sure, though. Um, I'll have to look here. Um, it's definitely not what I want to do. Um, I want to look here. Um, well, this isn't much help. Um... Okay, that's not much, very helpful at all. Uh, it's weird. I have to like click through so many different websites just to like find a champion, uh, the champion and stuff, and like different guides and things on how to take care of the final uh, champion here. Um, and yes, I was right. Uh, the champion's Milotic does no ice beam, so. Um, Garchomp, probably not the best choice here. Um, none of these Pokemon have a weak or have a attack or strong attack against dark types. So we may actually want to use Absol here and do just what we did in the third battle and just do that um, and take them out that way, I think. Because dark types are weak to, like, what? I don't even know. Uh, not a whole lot, I don't think. Um, so I think we may end up going with, um, where is he? Absol here, which is going to end up being like the savior of our, our run here. Um, dark types are not weak against, well, if I can find it, geez. I'm not worried about moves, anything like that. Just, you know, weaknesses and things like that. Okay, obviously... Websites are no help. It's so funny, though. You'll go to look up things like that, and you won't be able to find it. Um, they are not effective against fighting darker fairy types, which is okay. Um, psychic types have no effect. Uh, ghost and dark are not effective, but fighting bug and fairy are super effective. Um, do I have a Pokemon that can handle the fairy attacks? Actually, I do, and I think... I think it's yeah mr. mime I think we send in mr. mime first and we don't take out uh, her first Pokemon which will always be um, what am I thinking of here um, what is the name of that Pokemon um, spirit tomb she will always send out spirit tomb first and we'll go ahead and head through here um, so always send out Spiritomb, and so if we can get Spiritomb to waste all of its fairy type moves, because I know it has one, and then send out Absol to boost up his attack and special defense, um, she won't be able to attack us after that point at all, and we sh should be okay. We can just kind of spam heals and then light screens and things like that, and we, that actually should be the champion battle pretty easily. So, let's say we take on the champion right now first of all um let me make sure that uh mr mime's in front of my party okay we are good to go and here we are the champion battle let's do this